In this video, we'll take a look at the GMS 775 EU Sequencer 8 module. This 8-step voltage sequencer and gate sequencer is housed in an 18 HP Eurorack panel. Multiple units can be chained to work either in tandem for more output channels or in series for longer sequences. Each step has a toggle switch associated with it that allows the gate output to be enabled for that step or to cause the sequence to reset to the beginning. A second toggle switch controls the running mode and has three positions to run the sequence, to hold, or to reset to the first step. Another toggle causes the sequence to run continuously in eight steps or enables a downstream sequencer to be chained for a longer sequence. The unit can be clocked by an internal oscillator that has a panel frequency control or an external clock signal. The voltage range of the CV controls is set by an internal jumper to 0 to 2.5 volts, 0 to 5 volts, or 0 to 10 volts. Jacks on the panel allow the input of an external clock or reset signal and output the analog CV signal and the external gate signals. The following sections will demonstrate some of the capabilities of this module. In this section, the sequencer operates from the internal clock. In order for the uh, sequence to start at step one, there's a reset position on this switch. Pulling the switch down resets to step one, and then pushing the switch up starts the sequence. The frequency is controlled by the knob. Each step position has a switch that uh, enables or disables the gate output and it also can be set to cause the sequence to recycle at that position to step one. Here I've disabled the gate for that position. Now if I pull it down to the second position, it will reset the sequence at that state. In this section, we have a patch that accepts an external clock input from the BeatStep Pro and also an external reset signal. This will uh, allow the two sequencers to stay in synchronization with each other. The control voltage output goes to an oscillator. The gate output goes to two envelope generators and uh, one envelope generator controls the frequency sweep of the filter. The other envelope generator creates the contour output. If I start this now, you should see it reset and then steps in sequence. <laughs> If I start this again, it'll reset to step one and then should stay in sync with the beat step. And if I pause it and then start it again, it should continue to be in sync. If I pull this switch down here, this will cause the first four steps to run in sequence and then re reset at step five. In this section, the sequencer is being stepped at an audio rate by this oscillator, and the oscillator is being frequency is being controlled by one volt per octave output from the MIDI to CV converter that's hooked to this keyboard. This allows me to play the notes on the keyboard and the oscillator, which is running at eight times the 
output frequency, since there are eight steps in the sequence, is creating a waveform, an audio output waveform. If I switch to the oscilloscope view, you can see the waveform that's being created by the sequencer. There are eight steps, and it's uh, they're set right now for uh, an approximation of a, of a sine wave. If I can adjust some of these, which will change the harmonic content. And we can create a radical change in the sound if I create something that looks like more like a sawtooth. Triangle shape wave here. 